G'day traders, I'm Rich. Welcome to the Traders Outpost. Today, we're going to introduce you to a simple momentum breakout system using Donkian channels, which was developed by Richard Donkian, who is regarded by many as the father of trend following. The Donkian channel is formed by taking the highest high and lowest low of the last N periods. The channel comprises a region within the highest high and lowest low, and is a useful indicator for observing the volatility of market price. In less volatile, more stable market conditions, the channel is relatively narrow. Under volatile trending regimes, the channel widens. Perhaps the widest use of the Donkian channel is in applying the indicator as a systematic method for timing long or short market breakouts. If an instrument trades above its highest end periods, then a long trade is executed. If an instrument trades below its lowest end periods, then a short trade is executed. Richard Dennis and Bill Eckhart's famous turtle trader experiment of the 1980s which spawned many of the successful CTA fund managers today, used the indicator very successfully as a breakout indicator across a broad range of liquid instruments. Though the strict application of the exact turtle rules today may not generate the same exceedingly successful performance metrics of the famous experiment, strategy variations using the Donkian channel are still applied today by many of the CTAs and other successful diversified momentum and trend following firms and is still a very popular and simple method of systematically applying breakout trades. The Excel template that we'll be describing today uses a Donkian channel in conjunction with other trade filters to signal possible entry points into powerful momentum surges in price. We also use the Donkian channel as an optional exit to signal when a momentum surge in price has run out of puff and price has started to retrace. As trade actions are determined on the open of the bar, we recommend that this strategy is applied to longer term time frames such as a daily time frame or above. The reason for this time frame preference is that we want to minimise the impact of possible slippage that may arise on the open. With the daily or weekly time frames, this impact is non-material in nature. The intent of this backtest model is to identify breakout zones that may signal the commencement point of a divergent surge in price towards a new equilibrium. Unlike mean reversion methods that assume that price will return to its recent historic average, this model is divergent in nature and looks for breakout conditions that may signal the commencement of trending market conditions towards new market equilibria. The key elements of this model comprise a longer term Donkian channel to define entry conditions, an optional average true range offset indicator, an optional moving average convergence divergence indicator or MACD, a shorter term Donkian channel to define exit conditions, an optional initial stop using the average true range or ATR, and an optional trailing stop as an ex exit condition using the average true range. The longer term Donkian channel, which we use to define potential entries, comprises the highest high or lowest low of defined lookback, and provides a horizontal resistance level within which price may consolidate or oscillate for an extended period of time. When price breaches a Donkian channel and nudges a channel higher or lower, we use this visual signal to identify possible breakout zones where price has a tendency to surge with higher momentum towards new consolidation zones. Under a trending context, the Donkian channel steps up or steps down to higher highs or lower lows. The ATR offset is an optional filter that can be applied to the Donkian entry level, which offers a possible method to avoid false breakouts or anticipate momentum breakouts. By applying a positive ATR multiplier, 
The entry price is offset to include the ATR distance above the Donkian entry channel for a long trade or below the Donkian entry channel for a short trade. A positive multiplier is therefore used to avoid possible false breakouts. On the other hand, by applying a negative ATR multiplier, the entry price is offset by the ATR below the Donkian entry channel for a long trade or above the Donkian entry channel for a short trade. A negative multiplier is therefore used to anticipate Donkian breakout trades. An optional MACD filter may also be used as an additional confirmation signal to the trade entry condition. The MACD is a popular trend following momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages of a securities price. The MACD histogram is derived from this indicator and is used as a signal, signal to enter long or short trades. If the MACD histogram has a positive value, we use this to restrict our trades to long trades only. If the MACD histogram has a negative value, then we restrict our trades to short only trades. Having the Donkian entry conditions, ATR offset condition and MACD entry conditions aligned is a method to further filter trades from the list of possible entry conditions produced by the Donkian entry condition alone and can be systematically applied to possibly reduce false breakout signals. Now that we have discussed possible entry variations, we now need to calculate our desired position size. The Excel model uses the average true range or ATR as our preferred method for position sizing. We also use the ATR for initial stop or trailing stop placement. Using the ATR allows us to calculate our position size per trade in accordance with current volatility. Having our entry criteria and our method of position sizing using volatility based measures, we now need to determine how to exit that trade. The model provides three possible methods of exit. We can either apply an initial stop loss to our entry position or a trailing stop from our initial entry, both of which control our adverse loss exposure. Or we may set a performance exit using the Donkian channel itself. The Donkian performance exit can be set at any desired level and operates independently from the Donkian entry channel indicator. <laughs> Well, hopefully that now gives you an understanding of the theory surrounding the model. So let's now drill down into the backtest model, where I can explain to you how to use it. So when you open up one of our templates, you will find seven or so tabs, also called worksheets, at the base of the screen, which you click on with your cursor to navigate around the model. The Intro tab provides links to lead you to our website where you can access our blog posts and other templates and trading tools that may help you on your trading journey, a brief description of the nature of the system that the template is backtesting, links to further information about features of the model such as details regarding the indicators the model uses, and links that allow you to watch this video presentation on how to use the template. Also on the Intro tab, we include a visual representation of the model that we will be testing in Excel, which will graphically portray the trade setup, entry and exit conditions, and help you understand the strategy that is being backtested using this template. Let's move to the next tab. This input tab is where you get creative and test the many variables of the strategy by changing the settings contained in the yellow cells. The possible combinations of strategy settings are vast, and on this tab, most of your time will be spent testing variables looking for those settings that deliver more robust performance metrics. This tab includes a chart which allows you to change input settings in the yellow cells and quickly see the impact on the strategy's overall performance before you then might decide to move on to the results tab to examine the performance metrics in more detail. This therefore allows you to test various combinations while remaining on the input tab to quickly drill down to the most effective performance settings before moving on. I will now change a few inputs to show you how quickly the model crunches the data. 
Let's assume that you are using historical price data which you have collected from your broker and that the available data has now been loaded into the model. The cells highlighted in grey show you the date range available for testing purposes. The date range drop down box which you use to select the date range for analysis uses the date supplied from your historical data. If you choose a beginning date or end date that is not a valid trading day where you have no data supplied then an error message may appear but don't worry to ensure we use valid dates from data supplied, we use the date supplied in the drop-down box to select from. To see what date ranges are available to choose from, click on the drop-down box and then press the Page Up or Page Down key or the Arrow Up or Arrow Down key to scroll through the available dates and then make your selection from the list. So let's change the date range to between, say, the 4th of January 2010 to the 17th of December 2018. The chart has now just adjusted to take into account the new date range selected, and you can quickly see the result. We might also like to see the impact of, say, taking long-only trades with this model. or short-only trades. Or allow both long and short trades. Now, let's turn on the ATR offset filter. Let's get aggressive and anticipate the Donkian break using a negative ATR offset multiplier of minus 0 0.5. That looks like a worse result. So now let's keep the ATR offset feature turned on but use a positive multiplier of 0 0.5 to hopefully reduce fake breakouts. Now let's turn on the MACD filter and see if that improves the result. OK, so no change in overall performance, so let's turn the MACD off again. Now let's see the impact of increasing the lookback of the Donkian channel entry to say 100 from the prior 50. OK, not so bad. So let's say we're quite happy now with our entry conditions. Now let's move on to the exit conditions. Let's apply an initial stop and a performance exit using the Donkian 100. Oh, that's no good. So let's turn off the performance exit and see what a trailing stop does. That's more like it. Notice how quickly Excel crunches the data to produce amended performance charts. You'll find that this template really fast tracks your ability to hone in to more robust settings quickly and easily. Let's say that we have now tested a range of different settings and you are happy with the summary performance results produced on the performance chart. It is now time to move to the next tab, the results tab, to drill down into the performance results in more detail. The results tab comprises a more comprehensive performance chart that includes realised and unrealised equity curves, a chart of market prices over the test range period, and a drawdown chart of realised equity. The inclusion of the chart of market prices 
allows you to quickly evaluate in what market conditions your system overperforms or underperforms. You also have the ability to observe the impact of all trading costs on your strategy, such as spread, commissions, swap or holding costs, and any slippage assumptions that you might adopt. The Results tab also includes important performance statistics that allows you to assess the overall performance of the strategy. You will also notice a Take Snap button below the Performance table. This is where we take a picture snap of the Results tab and save the image on the Snaps tab for future reference and comparison against different strategy variations. Let's assume that we are happy with these settings and would like to keep a copy of them to compare against other strategy variations. So let's click on the Take Snap button. Now, let's move to the Snaps tab to see if the performance picture was recorded. As you can see, the Results tab has been copied as an image file, which you can drag around the sheet to various locations. If we want to enlarge the image, then simply use the Zoom feature at the base of Excel to zoom in or zoom out. The image keeps a record of all the settings applied to your strategy and its performance, so you can resurrect these settings at a later date once you are happy in your final choice of settings. So let's move on. The Trades tab holds the details of all the trades undertaken by the system, which you can copy and paste into other Excel spreadsheets for further analysis if required. The remaining tabs of the model are the Data History tabs. This is where you dump your price data into the model to enable the spreadsheet to crunch the data. We currently include two separate Data History tabs that hold the daily or weekly market data that you can capture from either MT4 or MT5 or Yahoo Finance. We have prepared a prior YouTube presentation, which is also available on our website, where Fred provides you with all the information on how to export your data into these tabs and apply the different data settings. The reason we provide two different tabs for data history is due to the fact that historical data from these two sources are formatted differently. While we'd recommend MT4 or MT5 and Yahoo Finance as potential data sources, provided you can configure your data to be of the same format and it includes the open, high, low or close, then you can use any data source. Well, that's a wrap guys. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and now have an understanding on how to use this backtest model. If you like what you see, then come on over to our shop on our website and purchase this model. Once you get into the swing of things, these Excel models are a breeze, and for those of you with limited programming skills or knowledge of the details regarding some of the more mainstream off-the-shelf backtesting systems, then testing your strategies within the Excel environment may be a cup of tea. So, if you like this video, then make sure you become a subscriber to this channel to receive further useful information about updates on our trading tools. Go on, click that subscribe button now. You can also read more about us at ATS by clicking on the website link below this presentation. Cheers guys, and remember, there's gold in them there hills. <laughs>